So YAL has just announced our video index report, which is our Q4 report, but also serves as our 2013 report, which is a comp we do this every quarter, and it's over two billion analytical events that go into the research of how consumers are changing the way they consume video. What's interesting is a number of dynamics that come in that are really exciting in the new report. The primary one is how mobile is becoming the way consumers are beginning to consume video. And, and it's grown from 160% year on year, which means if you look back over the last few years, since Q4 2011, um, consumer consumption over video has grown by 720%. The other thing that's really important is it's not about short form content now, it's about long form content. So people on, on tablets and, and phone devices that five years ago were doing snacking, which is short form five minute clips, are now consuming video that's for over 30 minutes. So for broadcasters and media companies that are making money from their video on those devices, firstly, they need to make that available and give a, a user experience on all of those devices, but equally that need to understand you know, how they monetize that in terms of how many ads they serve when they're on mobile devices. People are now being more tolerant of ads, particularly when there's long form premium content involved. The other thing that we've seen that's interested in the recent report is how sports and live sports in particular is driving higher engagement on all, across all devices, but particularly on certain devices. So mobile people are, are watching live sports for three to four X times longer in terms of engagement than they are on other devices, which means if I'm a sports broadcaster, I can monetize that way more effectively by serving more ads and not just simple pre-roll ads that you would have served in short form content, but you know pre-roll, mid-roll, post-roll ads, and then drive content recommendation to push them for engage longer.